Ni hao, I'm Avi from India. Namaste, I'm Sandy from China. And together we are Avi, Avi and Sandy. Sandy. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're going to talk about school life. Yay! In India and China. China. Did you have uniforms in China? In, in, in India, we had to wear like a proper dress. Uh, Same uniform for the whole school. Uh, from middle school, we have. Mm. And it is mandatory to wear them. But they're super ugly. <laughs> It's just like the very loose outfit, in sports outfit, very loose pajama. <laughs> because they don't want the nice, you know, Japanese styles uniform. Because they would think, oh, uh, teenagers at this age, if they dress up like this, they will, you know, think of... Corrupt uh, their minds. Ah, uh, they should co concentrate on study, uh, focus on studies. They no, in India, wear, yeah. girls used to wear skirts. The length of their skirt was much longer when they leave the house than when they are in the school. You know, parents are like, oh, a long, long skirt. Uh, <laughs> and, I, and they tuck it in and it comes shorter and shorter. Uh, and the most popular girl always used to wear the shorter skirt, you know. But don't you have uh, teachers who forbid that? Yeah, yeah some teachers are like, yeah, then they put them <laughs> uh, down. <laughs> Put them down and up. Uh, it goes, keeps going all the time, you know. Uh, you do everything. As a teenager, you I just the... love uh, love those girls with with short skirts, you know. Even though we have that ugly, loose uh, sports outfit, mm. girls try to do whatever they can. Like, like the outfit is with zipper, uh -huh. the and very loose, uh -huh. so they will put the zipper down to ah. here and wear nothing. Wear nothing. Huh? Oh. In my time, at least, uh, girls have to cut their hair short. No long hair is allowed. Every girl has to cut short. Uh, oh no, not like in a India, guy, no. like uh, boys. Oh no, okay. It's so no, no girl fight then. No, no, no pulling the hair. No, no, no. Ah, that's for me. That's the best part. And boys used to wear very expensive sneakers. They compete on the sneakers. Sneakers? No, in India we also have to. We are school, ah, school shoes. School shoes. Yeah, oh, it's, a, it's a proper shoes. uniform. When does this love thing start in China? I Affairs. think thir third grade. Third grade, like nine years old. Nine years old. Then it goes, ah, he likes her. She likes him. Oh. This kind of thing. When does it like actually start? Like yes, we we are dating. Like he's ah, my boyfriend. Then you know, I would say in high school. Then. 15, 16 years old. 15, 16, Yeah, mm. I think yeah, similar in yeah. similar in India. Yeah. That's still frowned upon. Yeah. Yeah, India too. Mm. India too. Yeah, it's not normal that your 15 year old, 16 year old son is having mm. having girlfriends. Mm. Mm, yeah, I think that's. <laughs> yeah. I think focus in India is study. Yeah, yeah too. In China too. China too. Yeah. I think my parents always told me that study now, then you will get a lot of girls when you go to college. They say that. They say, you know, like you can do other things. There's other things. My parents used to say, "Oh, you are only." Uh, uh, 13 the boy you met now are stupid <laughs> when you grow up then you will meet much more people from all over the world then you can choose huh? oh then it's now you're choosing me mm. Mm. another thing very Chinese I find is mm. that we have a whole school where gathers together to do exercise every day every day every day is Kung Fu like Tai Chi, tai chi. No, we call it Guang Bo Ti Chao. It's Guang like... Guang Bo Ti Chao. Maybe I can show you if I find something on internet. You can do it for us? Yeah, hmm? maybe. Go! <laughs> <laughs> When the teacher used to enter mm. in the class, the whole class used to sing Good morning, teacher. Ah, oh, we have similar stuff yes, too. Yes, yes, we yes. don't sing, but we all should stand up. Huh? There's a head of class. The monitor. Monitor. Oh, we also had oh, class yeah, yeah. monitor. Yeah. And when the teacher comes in, the monitor says, uh, The teacher is here. And then we all stood up. Oh. And then we say, Hello, teacher. Good day. Okay. It also singing. Lao Shi Hao. Lao Shi means teacher. The teacher, the Lao Shi will say, Tong Xue Men Hao. It means uh, hello, pupil. Oh. Uh, we were taught also during the orientation class 
when we enter primary school that you have when you have to raise hand when you have to speak you have to raise hand and when you raise hand you have to do like this <laughs> <laughs> like this how do you raise hand sir sir <laughs> ah. in chinese uh, schools students are responsible to clean the classroom Every day after class. Every day. Every day. Wow! No, Every in day India we have a by group. We, have a, we, have we, a, we switch. In India we have a sweeper who is doing it. We also have that, but those people are responsible for the common area. Corridor. Yeah. yeah. Uh, for classroom, it's always the students. I think that's a very good habit. Yeah, I think it's a good habit. Maybe if I would have had it, I would not be suffering so much today with my cleaning. I, I don't. I don't clean, guys. I'm not a cleaner. So suppose there is a kid who is destroying everything. Mm -hmm. What happens in China? Then the teacher will shout first. <laughs> are you? What are you doing? Uh, get out of my class! So normally he will get out. No matter how bad he is, how naughty he is, he will get out. He will get out of the class? Of the class. Okay, that's Don't. it. No hitting? No hitting? No, no, no. No? No hitting. Oh, in India, uh, it's teacher forbidden. used to beat up. In yeah, forbidden but, uh, in China. Yeah? Yeah, because the parents then will sue you. Really? Uh, no, not in India. No, no. At least when I was a kid, teacher used to hit you so bad. I remember once... Uh, hit you where? Hit on you on the face. Ah! Oh. Yeah. And also sometimes on you do your hand like this and then he hit you with a boot. A ruler. A ruler, yeah. It's not allowed in China. We used to have... I think this is pretty unique uh, in the Chinese style. We used mm. to have one teacher who teaches nothing but discipline. Huh? For the whole school. Discipline or sports? Disciplines. Ah, in, in, in Morals. In our school, the sports teacher is a discipline teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Does that make sense? You know, normally the sports teacher is like this tough guy. Oh. And he's like, everybody's scared of the PT, PT teacher. Oh, we call yeah. him PT. How long is the Chinese school? In elementary school, it's from 7.30 to 5. 7.30 to 5? Mm. Oh no, in India it's like 8 to 1. Yeah, you guys are you guys are <laughs> too lucky. What do you guys do whole day then? Classes. Teachers, subjects. Yes. Uh, I think from 12 to 1.30 is the lunch break. One and a half hour you, you can go home. Ah, uh, go home, eat and come back. Mm. No, in India there's so many students. <laughs> if they go home, they never come back. I used to also bring our own lunch boxes. Oh, we have a canteen. Oh, uh, you have canteen? Mm. No, we used to bring our own lunch boxes and the biggest uh, concern was nobody should eat my lunch. I wanted to ha add one thing on the canteen. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> because we really had good canteens in my yeah? middle school. We used to pay 7 yuan or 8 yuan for a buffet of 6 different dishes. <gasps> Meat and non-veg and non-veg and with uh, rice and uh, soup. Eat all you can. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I used to go to school. Huh? <laughs> and 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 the last class before lunch finishes at twelve. So you, when the the wow. ring starts on ding, uh, after everybody dies. <laughs> <laughs> Some students used to stay in the canteen from twelve to one thirty. <laughs> <laughs> Just eat. <laughs> In high school, our school time is even longer. Longer? I used to, in high school, I used to wake up at 6. Wake up at 6? And reach a school at 7. At 7, you have to sit there in the classroom. Since high school, we have exam every day. Every day exam on different subjects. At least in my school. <laughs> so when, you, when that is done, it's like 6.30. In the evening? In the evening. Then you go home. Then you go home. Mm. But for the last two years, you, we even stay longer. Uh, like nine. 11, 12, so before college. Yeah. Until 9. Mm. Because we have a canteen also, you can choose to... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What? 7 to 9? Like 14 hours in school? Mm. No, no. In, in India, we work, we have school from 8 to 2. But then we have extra classes. Do you, do you uh, have extra classes? Have coaching on, on, coaching on, classes? On weekends. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't want to be Chinese. <laughs> no, no, we had, we had these classes after school. And you know what? The same teachers who are teaching you in the school are teaching uh, there. Yeah. But they don't teach well in the school. Mm. But they teach really well in those classes. So. I think we have a very similar system. 
Ah, uh, you also have this thing. Yeah, yeah. Ah, this is very bad. And in those private institutions, teachers are paid much more. Yeah, yeah, a lot, lot more. In India, every morning we used to have like a morning prayer. And depending mm. on the school, mm. it can be a Christian prayer or a Hindu prayer. It's like a morning, it's called morning assembly. It's like half an hour and sometimes, mm. and sometimes the principal is giving Doing like speech. a speech, very boring. Oh. Oh. We have that assembly thing on every Monday. Monday not, morning. Not every, not every day. Every Do the day. rise of the flag raise ceremony. Chinese oh. flag. Of course. <laughs> what else? <laughs> Chinese okay. flag. We have to sing the national song. We, we sing the national anthem every day. Janagana mana dinaya. And on that assembly, one student representative is um, giving a speech. And that student is oh, you know, among yeah. the, the every best. Every week, every week, one, yeah, one, one new, new student. Yeah. Mm. I was never... Never? Yeah. Oh... <laughs> <laughs> me neither, me neither. Oh, okay. Well, I was never into these kind of things. Okay. I thought you were did very well in school. Yeah, but I, would, I was not like a political person. Ah, uh, speaking in yeah. front of everyone. I'm oh, very... Yeah. Mm, yeah. Shy of yeah. Mm. Mm. And I used to loathe that. Yeah, because you can't <laughs> do it. <laughs> I can't. Because you can't do it, you loathe whatever you cannot oh, do. Once, there was once, there was once, not during the uh, uh, weekly assembly, but it was an assembly for, for all the school students and uh, students of one Japanese school. They were here to do an exchange program. Oh. All the Japanese students and teachers, and I was a representative of my school, and I gave a speech in English. Oh. Mm. Han hao, han hao. That's your moment of your school life. <laughs> <laughs> Best moment highlight, of your life. highlight of my school life. Mm. How many students are there in one class usually in India? In India, 30, 40, 40, I think, 40, 45. Yeah. Mm. Mm, same. One class. Same. <laughs> same. <laughs> I think China and India has uh, yeah. similar. Uh, How do you guys sit? We used to sit on wooden benches. No, we used no? to have. Um, our desk and chair, everyone has his own uh, desk and chair. Ah, those kind of desks, okay. Mm -hmm. There used to be like two, two seaters. You know? oh, ah, yeah, so, yeah. You have so, to, so you have to sit, sit someone. with someone. Oh, okay. Yeah, it used to be like that. Yeah. We <laughs> didn't allow that because that's, we're afraid that if you put two people together, then they would start talking. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and also, you know, so puppy you, love. So in China, girls and boys used to sit separate, like in separate sections or... No. Oh, in India, at least in my school, we had like one section for girls and one section for boys. Oh. Yeah, like, okay, it changes in, I changed like seven, eight schools. It mm. was different in different schools, but mm. it's not that uncommon that there is like, you know, rows, three rows and one row is for girls and like two rows is for boys, for example. Yeah. But in China, we keep changing your seats. So you, we make oh. sure that y the way you see the uh, blackboard is always changing. So you don't, you, you don't looking always at the same direction. It's be oh. better go your, for your really? eyesight. Yeah, okay. That's why the whole China has classes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think in India, if there are like two students who are sitting together and making a lot of trouble, then teacher will put them apart. Mm. But there is no rule like this. Uh, you basically fight for your seat. Oh, yeah. but yeah. who decides in the first place? Who sits where? You just sit where empty seats are. Yeah, I think studious students sit in the front. Students decide on their own and teacher would, would uh, allow. Yeah, yeah. So students decide on their own more okay. or less. But some teachers are like, no, you sit here, you sit there. Mm. Depends on, on the teacher and the student. Mm. Yeah. Mm. In China, it's the teacher decides. Mm. Chinese. <laughs> what about homework? Homework. Oh, we used to have a lot of homework. Uh, but I used to finish that. So I reach home one or two. I finish the homework by five. Then I go play. You do three hours of homework. Yeah, until in primary school, you know. I'm, I mean, high school is different. Huh? Ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth is different. Oh. But I would say until seventh or eighth class. But also we used to have two, two months of summer holidays. There we used to get a lot of homework. Mm. So I used to finish all my homework uh, quickly, very quickly. Uh, I was the exact opposite of you. I, I you always that summer holidays? Yes. Or, or winter holiday? Both. Ah, both. No, in India both. we don't have both. Mm. I used to... Fin uh, yeah, two months of 
summer holidays, maybe one month of winter holidays. Ah, nice. I always waited till the last moment to start on the vacation homework. <laughs> And sometimes my mom used to uh, do it for me also because I couldn't finish. <laughs> oh yeah, my mom also used to help me. Uh, oh yeah, about the exams. Oh yeah, exams. We used to have annual exams in March. March? Yeah, the term ends in March. Ah, oh, mm. they are totally different. We, we, our term starts in September. Ah, September. Okay. Uh, ends in January. Huh? What do you do between January to September? The first semester ends in uh, January and then winter holidays. Uh, one class, one class ends in August then. September to August is one class. Yes. And every exam used to be 100 marks. Mm. And out of that you have to score 33. That's yes. super easy. So 33 is the passing point. It's for passing marks, yes. Yeah. Well, for us it's 60. 60? Uh. Out of 100? Uh. Oh my god. Alright, so this is the Chinese and Indian school system. Let us know in the comments if you have missed something and of course please subscribe for more India China videos. Thank you for watching. Thank like, you. comment and subscribe. Hmm. Ciao. See you in the next video.